In this video, we're going to start the Percent Problems CUDA Software Free Worksheet under the Infinite Algebra 1 tab. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can access this worksheet. Our directions are to solve each problem round to the nearest tenth or tenth of a percent. For solving these, we're going to use proportions. So if you're unfamiliar with that, go to my tutorial section where I talk about how proportions relate to percents. Also, another note, we're going to do eight problems in each video, so this worksheet will be three separate videos. You can think of a percent as a fraction out of 100. So we're saying what percent of 29 is three? So X is what we're looking for, and that's out of 100 since it's a percent. So what percent of 29 is three? So we're looking at three over 29. Now you may be asking, how did I know to write three over 29? That's because we're asking what percentage that three is of this number 29. So now we're just going to solve like we do for solving proportions. We'll multiply both sides by 100 to get that x is equal to 300 over 29. Typing that into our calculator. is 10.34 rounding to the nearest tenth, 10.3 percent. So x is equal to 10.3 percent. Another way you can think of this, if you were just to divide 3 by 29, that's going to give you a decimal. Then if you multiply by 100, so moving the decimal place over two times, you will still get that 10.3. Let's move on to number two. So we're saying what percent of 33.5 is 21? So we're looking at 21 out of that 33.5. So now we're going to set up our proportion, x over 100. So we're asking what percent of that 33.5 is 21? Multiply both sides by 100 to isolate the x, and we'll get 21 divided by 33.5, and we're multiplying that by 100. So 62.68, which rounds to 62.7%. For number two. And number three, they're asking what percent of 55 is 34? So we're looking at that 34 of 55. And that's going to be equal to x over 100, where x is the percentage we're solving for. And in number one, I wrote x over 100 on the left-hand side, but it doesn't matter since it's an equation, 34 over 55 equals x over 100 or you could write x over 100 equals 34 out of 55. The order doesn't matter. In order to solve, we're multiplying both sides by 100. So we're looking at 34 divided by 55, and that's going to give us 0.618. When we multiply by 100, that would be 61.8. So for number three, our percent is 61.8. Percent. Also, if you wanted to double check, just take your percentage and find what 61.8% is of 55. So you're going to take the decimal that became your percent and multiply by 55 and see if you get 34. And indeed, you do. Let's move on to number four. 41% of 78 is what? So our percentage is given this time. So 41 out of 100 is the percent. So 41 is to 100. So 41 out of 100 is the same as some number, let's say x, of 78. So we're looking for 41% of that 78. So we're going to take that decimal, since 41 over 100 is 0 0.41, since that's the decimal of the percent, and we're going to wind up multiplying it by 78. So 0.41 times 78 is going to give us 
that number we're looking for. And that's going to be 31.98, which when we round, rounds to 32. So 32 is the answer for number four. If you took 32 and divided by 78, you would get 41 hundredths, which when multiplied by 100 would give you 41%. 32 divided by 78, 41 hundredths. Moving on to number five, let's think of this as something other than a proportion. We're trying to find what 28% of this 63 is equal to. A way to do that is to multiply the percentage converted into a decimal, so 0 0.28 times that 63. And that's going to give us the number that we're looking for. So finding out what 28% of 63 is, we're just going to multiply 0.28 times 63 to get 17.64 which when we round will be 17.6. So if we were to set up a proportion, it would be 28 over 100 equals x over 63. So what we did here was we multiplied both sides by 63 without having to set up the proportion. In number six, it says 58% of what is equal to 63.4. So we're asking, what percentage of some number is 63.4? So that's 0 0.58 when we convert to a decimal times some number x is equal to 63.4. So now in this case, we're going to divide by 58 hundredths to get that x is equal to 63.4 divided by 0.58 gives us 109.3. So 63.4 is 58% of 109.3. If we were to set up this proportion, it would look like 58 over 100 is equal to 63.4 out of some number x. And number seven, one is what percent of 52.6? So we're trying to solve for the percent. So our percentage is now our x, and that times 52.6 is going to give us one. So it's the percent of 52.6 equals one. So we're going to take 1 and divide that by 52.6 so that we're left with our percent x on the left hand side and that's equal to 1 divided by 52.6 which is 0 0.019 but remember this is in decimal form, so we have to move the decimal place over two times, which is the same as multiplying by 100 to get 1.9% for number seven. And lastly, number eight. What percent of 38 is 15? So we're looking at some percent x of 38, so the percentage multiplied to the 38, and that's equivalent to 15. And this percent is in decimal form currently. So when we divide both sides by 38, we're going to get a decimal. 15 divided by 38 will give us 0.3947, which rounds to 0.395. So x is equal to 0 0.395, but we still have to multiply that by 100, so moving the decimal place over twice, to get it into a percentage. So we have 39 0.5% as our final answer. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and continue on to the next video where I'll do numbers 9 through 16.